At the start of this current school year, this past September 2019, Andy and I had a conversation with Leilani, who is Andy's youngest sister, a current senior in high school. <laughs> Good to see you, Leilani. <laughs> Obviously, there was none of this coronavirus stuff going on at that time, so it was a much different conversation we had. But we wanted to follow up with her just to kind of get her thoughts on what it's like to be a current senior in high school about to graduate and then to now be hit with all of this that's now going on. Do you happen to remember what month that was that you were our mystery dinner guest? I can't uh, remember. I think it was October. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say October maybe. So this week, I wanted to feature this interview we had with myself, Andy, and Leilani, a senior in high school. Kevin Isamoto says welcome to the vlog. All right, so Leilani. We wanted to ask you about the current state of what it, what life is like being a student and kind of like dealing with these circumstances because it's quite different. Just, not just any student, a senior in high school. We do Zoom calls between um, the hours of 9 and like 12. And we have three classes a day now. When this all first started, like the first week of it, was it kind of weird, like, getting adjusted to that? Or were people pretty much, like, understanding, like, what's going on in terms of, like, the scheduling? I don't think anybody cared in the beginning because everyone thought that... They originally said that we were going to take a two-week break and then come back in, like, a couple weeks on a Monday. So everyone was like, well, it's whatever. The seniors cared because, like, obviously we don't have our events and stuff, but... Were you bummed? Are you bummed? Yes. Or do you not care? What is, what is one thing that you, uh, you, you're you going to miss the most? Probably prom. Yeah. Their only, yeah. their only main priority to like at least do something virtually right now is just the graduation ceremony. Yeah, how exactly are they doing that? Or like, do you know what exactly they're going to be doing? They're just going to, I guess they're just going to be like putting a video together, putting a video together and then it's not even going to be a live stream or anything like that or like a call and be a video right. a pre-recorded video and they just announce everyone's names yeah and that's it so when it comes to these zoom classes are they like pretty strict like your teachers in terms of like you guys actually being there none of my teachers are but i know like my friends have classes where they're like they literally like print it out or they email the students like rule sheets about zoom calls and they're like eating during class. Uh, it's my house. Yeah, what are you going to stop me? I'm in my home right now. Yeah, honestly. You know how on Zoom you can like turn off your video feed? Do most people do that? Or is it kind of like half yes. and half? Or like? It depends on the class because some teachers want you to turn off your camera so that you don't distract and you just pay attention to what they're talking about. Yeah. And then other teachers like art teachers, they want to see everyone's faces. So they have it, like everyone just everyone just turns on their camera. <laughs> you have like a That's fake horrible. smile on the whole time. It's like aimed at your face. You're just like sitting there, like <laughs> yeah. Does anyone ever goof around? Yes. Are there any class clowns? Yeah. What it describes me what a class clown looks like in a Zoom setting. Yeah. Um, asking to share their screen with the class and then putting something really bad on the screen. <laughs> But like the other day, my friend, like we were doing, we were taking roles and my, she calls on, the teacher calls on my friend and then they have a conversation about like one of the projects that we were doing. And then my friend forgets to mute her mic. And so she immediately starts texting me so she can hear her typing on the screen. And then she starts fucking like cackling and shit. <laughs> and I'm like, bro, turn off your mic. <laughs> I imagine, you know, there's classes that are like completely not necessary to do a Zoom call for. Like if you're in band or like PE or something, like what do, they, do, they, do they still do a Zoom class for that? I know that like, because my friends are in soccer, I know that they still do Zoom calls just to check in with each other. Oh. When this was all first starting, were you and your friends uh, quite concerned? Were you kind of about the uh, implications of a virus spreading through the... Uh, the state. No. Do you give a shit? No. I mean, Interesting. no. Do you feel it's because you're young? Like, because you know that it doesn't really affect young people as much? No, but like, I know that mom and dad wouldn't 
let me get into a position where I could get anything anyways. Outside of the academic side, like a huge part of like the the high school experience is like all the extracurricular stuff or like hanging out after school or whatever. What have you noticed amongst your friends of like what they do just to like socialize or like do stuff during downtime? We just FaceTime pretty much. Group FaceTime and then like we play games together. Drinking yeah. games perhaps? I like that you can tell she wanted to say yeah, but mom's right there, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what's a very, like, a, a very high school, high school activity that not going to be a thing anymore is, um, like, everyone receiving their yearbooks and, like, signing yearbooks in their, during, like, the last couple weeks. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty sad. Like, you're Are just going like, to receive a package in the mail that's, like, your yearbook. Everyone's just going to have empty yearbooks this year. Yeah. Honestly, that'd be really cool to get a, a yearbook in this during this whole crisis. I want to see what the uh, what that would look like. It would only be like the first half of the year. They want us to like send in pictures, like at least the seniors, and like I don't know. I don't know what they're gonna do with that. What would you say you miss most about that, like in regards to being physically at school? Just being around other people. Yeah. Like seeing my friends every day seeing my teachers every day yeah. even just like my classmates i don't even talk to like just seeing other people yeah isn't it crazy to think that like for the rest of leilani's life like 30 years from now they're gonna be like dude there's a there's an actual graduating class that had to go through this during this time and leilani's gonna be like yo that was my senior year dude and their 10-year reunion will probably be their prom dude look at that wow Come full circle. Incredible. Yeah. Ten, their ten year reunion will be the first time they'll all see each other again. Oh my <laughs> god, that is incredible. They made an Instagram for like the seniors. Huh. But it's basically just like uh you can send in like a picture of you and then like a short little paragraph about where you plan on what do you plan on doing after college or high school? Like yeah. what college you plan on going to, what you plan on studying. Yeah. And they post that for everyone to see. And then you put your baby picture with that too. But that's, that's about really it. They cool. don't do like social things. I mean, that sounds cool even like without a pandemic in mind. Yeah, yeah. Do you follow that account and like kind of look at what they post? Yes. That's like an official like school thing, right? Yes. Huh. It's ASB is running it. That's that's very Damn, uh, Kevin, that's your people, dude. Yeah, honestly. We want to have another uh, check-in call with you, um, like maybe around your graduation time, mid to late June. Well, I'm not doing anything, so... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks for taking the call. Thank you for your time. Bye. Good luck. So after this conversation ended, Andy and I had a follow-up where we discussed more ideas that we want to implement for this whole lockdown conversations that we're planning on having so these are all just kind of ideas but like we want to get a teacher a hospital worker um, an amazon worker a essential frontline grocery store worker just these different people who because of their circumstances have a unique perspective on everything that's going on right now it'd be some interesting conversations for to share on this vlog and just to kind of remember this moment in time. Amy, hey, do you want to share with the folks at home your uh, purchase you made this week? So this week, uh, I bought Animal Crossing, currently visiting Danani. How's your experience with the, uh, the Switch in general been so far? I like it. Um, like even earlier today, it was dying. And then uh, I like put it on the thing and then I put it on the TV and I was like, oh, well, that was really convenient. <laughs> you can like never stop playing essentially if you really wanted to. I think that's, yeah, maybe that is the problem. <laughs> <laughs> well, I went back to work. Oh, are you serious? Nice, how was that? Wow, yeah. wait, hold on. This is big news. Why didn't you tell us about this? Seriously. Us <laughs> we had to learn all new protocol, you know to sanitize everything and since yeah, wear masks. yeah give us an example of like what's something new that you guys had to learn about that you didn't weren't doing before 
in regards to like um, PPE so and the, whatnot. Yeah, so the door is locked and you have to call ahead of time to let us know or like schedule everything for like pickup or picking out glasses or something. How are you going to handle like a person being like, oh, I need to buy new frames today and they just go around the store like trying on every single pair? Yeah, so we're trying to limit how many they can, you know, wear, but then um, we have a box and then we we have all the ones that they wore and then we have to sanitize it afterwards. It's been tiring because I'm, I'm not used to <laughs> working. Well, like, was it, was it oh, kind of... Oh, yeah, I bet. Yeah, because it's been like two months, basically, since you've been into the work, <laughs> right? Yeah. Are you personally concerned at all for your uh, health going back to work? Uh, yeah, because I'm going to be exposed to a lot more people. I've been, like, trying to figure out what would happen, what I would say if, like, I face racism in public. Uh. Yeah. That's an interesting, that uh, interesting concern that I cannot relate to. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think. I, I've definitely thought about it too, but I just feel like our particular area in LA is like diverse to the point where like, I feel like most people are pretty understanding of like, uh, you know, it's like, it's not like they've never seen an Asian person before, you know? So like, I, I don't want to go to like Vaughn's or Ralph's or something, you know? I try yeah. to go to the Asian market. Oh, yeah, <laughs> you gotta you gotta report back next week and let us know how your first week with like customers and whatnot goes oh hell yeah emmy thoughts um i have finals this week and i'm really excited to get those done so i can play some animal cross <laughs> and andy your thoughts going into week number nine of lockdown uh, it should be nice. It's, uh, it's going to be cooling down and things are going to open up. The trails are open again. Well, like Stephanie said, this is no time to get, uh, to get uh, you know, to get too carried away. But still stay diligent. Now is not the time to get all willy-nilly out there. That's right. Now is not the time to act a fool. <laughs> Just yet. Just yet. It's coming, though. <laughs> yeah. It's coming. It's 2021. Oh yeah, yeah. So that's it for this week's vlog. Thank you for watching. And next week's vlog is week number 504.